Um, yes, yes, of, of, of course, sir, yes. She's just um, helping out of that. Uh, she's way. not a child, is she? She's, she's an adult. No, she's an adult. Yeah, I, fine. I'm in the 20s, so if ah. you want to clap as an adult, then. <laughs> I, I, I can't hear you, I'm sorry. I'm in my 20s, so oh, that's if you fine. want to clap me as an adult, you can. That's fine, OK, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, hello? Hello, hello, Bill, yes. Oh, right, I thought we got cut off then. Um, right, so, yeah, um, I, I got an answer for your question about Jesus, um, and I did have a look through the book again myself um, this morning again as well, um, just at the first part, but she said that... Um, you looked into the first part of it and um, uh, then you just went a little bit further. Is there anything in particular other than, obviously, you asked the question about Jesus? Um, well, I've looked in particular at chapter four. I found chapters one to three rather too basic. I've looked at chapter yeah. four on Jesus. I've looked at chapter seven. Um, I think it was chapter 14 or 15 on the kingdom of God. That particularly interests me um, because some of your literature says that Jesus became king of the kingdom in 1914. And yes. yet your reasoning from the scriptures book, which I looked on JW.org, uh, talks about Christ becoming king, Colossians 1.13, at his resurrection over the Christian congregation. Yeah. So... Does that mean there are two kingdoms? There was a Jehovah's Witness who I remember speaking to about this about two years ago at the Carts, and he said that Jesus is actually king over. He has two kingdoms, not one kingdom. Um, so that kind of confused me a little bit because when the Bible talks about the kingdom of God, it's always in the singular, never in the plural. But he, he assured me there were several kingdoms of God. Um, and I've also looked at chapter 44 on birthdays. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with a Christian keeping a birthday. Right, OK. Right, well, um, that, that's obviously different. I did look at that briefly um, about Job, and it was a Greek word, um, and I can't remember the name of the word now, but the word was um, as uh, regarding a party, and the sons actually held a banquet. Sorry, what are we um, talking about? What are we, what are we talking about? When you were on about Job, uh, with the, the birthday. Oh, right. Um, Job, Job chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. It says it says birthday in the Living Bible, yeah, at verse 4. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Well, what it is is the Greek word actually uh, taken slightly out of context because the, the Greek word was, uh, was, I can find this out at another time, but it basically the Greek word was to have a uh, celebration. Um, not necessarily a birthday celebration. Um, so, but so, I can explain that in more detail later. Uh, if we if we just look at the question about Jesus at the moment. Um, no, I don't like jump. No, sorry, I, I, I'm not jumping from from topic to topic. I'm 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 a studious guy. I'm I'm 60 years old. Yeah. I'm happy to look at yeah. one thing. You you give yeah. me a time when you're going to call, and you call at that exact time. And I, I will prepare and I will look maybe at one chapter of your book and we go through one chapter of the book. But I'm not jumping from topic to topic. I'm sorry. Sorry, Bill. That's 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 not. No, no, that's, that's, that's what I was explaining to you, because you just mentioned about um, birthdays with Job. And I, I was just saying that um, I've got the questions answered for Jesus, but I can, amend, I can, I can answer that at a later date. So I was under the same. Uh, under the same thing, you're not jumping from topic to topic, but answering, trying to answer one question, but I was just briefly saying that I did look at it. Right. OK, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Um, let me just get your... I've downloaded your book, Enjoy Life Forever. Let me just get it up on the screen. Uh, take me a while to upload it. Here we are, Enjoy Life Forever. Chapter four, 
is um, who is God? So that's right. one thing we could look at. Um, my yeah. understanding when I did go to church, it would be to a Trinitarian church. So I think my oh. understanding would be a little different to the brochure, but that would be something that I could look at. I think chapters one to three would be a waste of my time. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I appreciate that. Obviously, you're at a certain level already, so the, the, them chapters would be... And they're there to introduce people, because people have a, a spiritual need, but obviously they don't know a lot, so that's what they're actually there for. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Um, if you want to do that, who is God? Um, when, we, when we look at that, so have you got that up already? Um, well, I've just gone to chapter seven now. What is Jehovah like? I can go back if you want. Um, but the other one to look at would be what is Jehovah like, which is chapter seven. And I was very interested in what it had to say about the Holy Spirit on that particular chapter. Yeah. OK. Well, we'd be better off answering one question, obviously, first, like you say, so we're not actually yeah. flitting about. So, um, I mean, I have got the information about Jesus if you wanted to start answering about the kingdom or I can. Uh, we can the kingdom is chapter about chapter 14, I think. We just go there. Yeah. No, it must be chapter fifteen. No, no chapter fifteen is who is Jesus. There is something on the kingdom. I forget exactly where it is. It's somewhere around there. I remember. Um, I remember reading that. I think it's best to decide on one chapter that we look at, Bill. And I, I'm quite happy to read that and and do some preparation. Okay. Okay then. So. If we do look at chapter 15 then of O oh, Jesus, answer that question first because it was, it was the thing which you was um, concerned about yourself at first and, and you mentioned in the letter. So if we do look at that and, and then um, we can answer that once we get the understanding of that, we can move on to something else. OK, that's what you think is best. OK, um, would you want to do that? Well, I haven't really had a chance to prepare now. I can look at it now, if you like. Yeah, we can do, yeah. OK. Um, chapter 15, uh, who is Jesus? Um, Jesus is one of the most famous people in history, yet other than his name, many people do not know much about him, and many have different ideas about who Jesus really is. What does the Bible say about him? I don't go to church anymore, but I, I do read read my Bible and I do pray still, yeah. even though I've given up on church, yes. Right. Can I can I ask why you've given up on the church? Um if you don't It was a waste of my time. I didn't learn anything. And okay. I got fed up with the naughty things that pastors and church leaders got up to, the hypocrisy, which they covered yeah. up. Um, yeah. covered up by reporting me to the police when I tried to correct them on the things that they were doing contrary to their own teaching which I don't wish yeah. to go into um, yeah uh, sadly that is um, uh, it is a common theme um, in, in a lot of uh, religions um, because what people are doing they're doing they're, they're serving the religion to please themselves and it's not the case we should serve the religion for for the belief in god and, yes. and try and please god so yes. if god says don't do this then we don't do it okay okay i understand and, and that is the the main issue and why jesus came to the earth uh, will you be familiar with um, the script any of those scriptures there um, obviously, I have had time to prepare this particular part myself, uh, but would you be familiar with some of those scriptures there? Well, I'm very familiar with Colossians 1.15. 
Um, firstborn, yeah, I... I'm, I'm, I'm not a Greek expert, but firstborn simply refers to um, the right of primogenitor or, in, or inheritance right. It's um, prototokos. Yeah. And it doesn't mean first created, which is a different Greek word. That's protokiskos. So, um, right. for instance, David is the youngest son of Jesse in 1 Samuel 17, 14. Yes. But despite being the youngest son, he's firstborn in Psalm 89, 27. So yes. firstborn does not mean born first of all. It can apply to somebody who's born first of all, like um, like um, Manasseh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In, Gen in yes. Genesis 41, 51. But you can lose your firstborn rights which is why in Jeremiah 31, 9, his twin brother Ephraim is firstborn. So yes. firstborn doesn't mean created. That's a different Greek word, protokiskos. And firstborn yes. simply means that uh, Christ is preeminent. Yeah, yeah. Well, what it is on, on uh, as we can see, what is written down there, and is what we understand as well, is the only begotten son. So Jesus was the archangel basically who was the one who was the spokesman for jehovah god so jesus had to be the the first the one who was to do god's will uh, where does the bible say jesus is an archangel well the, the it, it mentions the archangel but there's only one archangel and that would be jesus christ so so it mentions it in Revelation. Um, I, I can't remember the exact chapter and verse, but it refers to him as a different name. So it refers to him as Michael, the archangel. Well, that's not but, Jesus. M Michael surely is somebody other than Jesus. I agree Michael is an archangel, but could you show yeah. me a verse which says Jesus is an archangel? So it doesn't say directly Jesus is the archangel, but we can that Michael is the um, archangel and that is Jesus because um, if you look at the study you now it talks about um, not the study you note, know, sorry if you look at the other scriptures surrounding it, it talks about that archangel being the king but, um, wouldn't you agree I'm, I'm, I'm sorry just run that through me again I'm, you've lost me so, but, no you're all right Around, when it talks about the Archangel, which is, like you said, Michael, it talks about him also being a king in the same context. Um, where? So, where is... No, it doesn't. Where is Michael called a king? So, it doesn't... Um, just bear with me here. So... I mean... You know, when you speak to Mormons, they say, well, you know, they'll teach you Mormon doctrine. And they'll say, well, that's obviously taught in the Bible. And, you know, the Bible obviously teaches that Joseph Smith is a prophet of God. And you must not drink tea and coffee because the Bible clearly forbids the drinking of tea and coffee. And you must go to the temple and do your temple work in the temple because the Bible clearly teaches that. And the Bible doesn't teach any of that. They just they just assume that. Um, anyone can assume anything. It doesn't actually. I don't well, think that yeah. actually proves. So, yeah. What? Sorry about that. that that's right. So I've actually got, I've got the scripture up here if you um, if you want. So I know which it's in Jude actually. Um, so I'll read the scripture for you if you want. Um, it's in verse nine of Jude. Um, if if uh, if you've got your own Bible, you can read that. Um. I'll read it here, though, whenever you're ready. Um, I, I'm familiar with the verse. I'm, I've memorised Jude. It's one oh, of my no, favourite books no of problem. the Bible. But I'll, just, I'll just read it for emphasis, then. Yeah. Um, it just says, But when Michael, the archangel, had a difference with the devil and was disputing about Moses' body, he did not dare to bring judgment against him in an abusive term. But he said, May Jehovah rebuke you. Which... Uh, familiar about now what you have to do with um with the bible because the original language of the bible is a mix of hebrew and greek sometimes 
sometimes you have to go back to the meaning. Now, archangel in the Greek term means chief or principal. So that implies that there's only one archangel. Yeah. Do you follow? Um, this says that Michael is the archangel. It, it does not yeah. say Jesus is the archangel. And, and Michael here dared not bring a railing accusation against the devil. Yeah. But Jesus yeah. rebuked oh. the devil, didn't he? Jesus oh. did rebuke the devil on numerous occasions. So if yeah, Michael dared not rebuke the devil, but Jesus did rebuke the devil, surely Jesus is not Michael. what you have to do is look at the original language the original language of the bible because sometimes as much as we can translate the bible and it's brilliant that we can read it in our own language it doesn't always get the full concept of the word so you have to look back so the word ah means chief chief, chief. yes okay yes. okay yes yeah. Chief or so source then, or, or ruler. It has a, a variety of meanings. Yeah. So it means ruler. Now, we know that, Jeho that God said that Jesus would be the ruler of this kingdom. Yes? Mm hmm Yeah? So if Jesus is the one and only ruler... Surely then, if this archangel, which means chief or ruler, surely then that would mean that it was Jesus. Well, you could use that argumentation to say Jesus is the Archbishop of Canterbury. An archbishop is a senior bishop. The senior bishop in yeah. the Church of England is the Archbishop of Canterbury. Yeah. Yes. So archangel so, means that, chief angel. So you could argue that um, Michael the archangel is also the Archbishop of Canterbury. That's a fallacy of no, logic. You're putting two things. No, you, no, you, no, I understand. And it's good that you ask these questions mm. because you shouldn't take things for granted. Mm -hmm. um, but that, that's a human term that people use. So the archbishop. And there is only one archbishop about it no there no there are but many archbishops no, there are a great yeah, many no. there are, there are hundreds if not thousands of archbishops in the various um church denominations even the anglican yeah. communion has many archbishops the archbishop of scotland the archbishop of wales the archbishop of uh, various african countries the archbishop of canterbury um yeah that's that's what i mean there's only one archbishop of that certain area there's no new so said the Archbishop of Canterbury, for example. There's only one Archbishop of Canterbury. There's not numerous Archbishops of Canterbury. So it's the same reasoning with the Archangel. There's only one Archangel. But there are actually yeah. many Archbishops of Canterbury because when one retires, another one takes over. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it, do, do, does it say in Jude 9, Michael the Archangel, or does it say Jesus the Archangel? But, as you probably know, Jesus had many other names. Um, so he's referred to once as the only begotten son. He's referred to Jesus. He's referred to the word. So he does have different titles. So Michael is just another word, name or title that Jesus has. Could you show me where the Bible applies the word Michael to Jesus? So, because say, because here in Jude nine, Michael the archangel, in contending with the with the devil, when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring a railing accusation against him, but said, "The Lord rebuke you." So Michael dared not rebuke Satan, but Jesus did rebuke Satan throughout his ministry. So if Jesus right. did rebuke Satan and Michael dared not rebuke Satan, Jesus can't be Michael. They must be two different people. Yeah. Yes. Actually, um, first of all, are you, are you familiar with Zoom, and can you use Zoom? Um, well, I'm going to try and sort out 
Um, I've got two phones. I'm going to try and sort out, because at the moment, mo none of my phones have any credit on them. I'm going to try and sort out a package um, where I have so much internet use per month on one phone. Yeah. And maybe maybe the next time we speak, you can tell me how to fix up Zoom and then we could speak on Zoom. But you'll have to talk yeah. me through it very slowly because I don't know much about it. I've heard of it. Well, that, that's fine. I'm the same. Um, I've only just learned how to use it, but it, it, it is quite straightforward what it wants. It's done. And the other okay. question is, uh, well, uh, just a suggestion really, is obviously th this isn't, isn't the chapter that I've prepared for. So do you think it'd be better if we resume this, um, say, in a day or two, and then have a look at this? So we've got I, to I think it will be best to start with Chapter 4 and then do Chapter 7, personally. Okay. Um, okay. Um, you've mentioned Only Begotten Son. I used to be a oneness Pentecostal in the 1980s. I was uh -huh. briefly involved in a oneness church. That's a form of Pentecostalism that denies the Trinity. So I'm very yeah. fil familiar with only begotten son, which is used yeah. a few times in the Bible. It's monogenes. Um, and it doesn't mean that Christ is created. Um, uh, you, you, that, that's not what that word actually says. Only begotten son means he shares his father's nature. Mm. It's yeah, not, it's not that, saying that Christ had a beginning. Man, that's all I was Right. There. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 Robert, before we go into Michael and other things, can we start with Chapter Four? Can we, can we uh, both go away, have a look at it, and re yes. uh, resume this another day? Okay. Um, then we can really get into the the meat of it. I think it's best to we... to re yes. I think you're right, sir. I think it's best just to read that chapter and stick on that chapter. Okay. Uh, that might be easier. Sure. Otherwise, we're going to get distracted with lots of sidetracks, I think. OK, well, well, well I'm quite happy to do yeah, that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Robert. And I want you to get the best out of this. I don't want you to get confused and, and uh, you know, where that's becoming a, a problem for you, where you, you, you're not understanding what's going on. Okay. And we need to be uh, sort of singing off the same in sheet. Uh, okay. Excuse the pun. Um, okay. So we can do that together. If, if you study it, I study it, and then we re get back together and yep. we can talk go through it. So what day would be good for you? Um, well, um, I'm free this weekend, not late, late on Saturday or any time on Sunday, uh, and also um, next week, most evenings. Sunday's good for me. Saturday we've got something on. That's, Sunday is good for me. Um, if we said... Um, um, two o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Oh, Saturday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday sorry, Sunday. Sunday. Two o'clock on Sunday. Okay. Um, Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. And and the other thing, Robert, can I phone you on a different number? Uh, just yeah. because I've got more credit on that number than this one. Yeah. Okay. And I don't, I don't want us to be talking about something and it just cut out. Okay. I, I, I will I, I will read um, chapter four by by, by then. Okay, okay, Bill. Do you want me to text you the number uh, so you know it's me? No, no. As long as you call at two o'clock. It'll be bang on two o'clock okay. on Sunday. Okay. All right. Well, look, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you. Thank you for your time. So we're looking at chapter four, who is God, and we'll get that sorted out for you on Sunday. I'll see you at two. I'll have read it by, by then. I have already looked at it, but I'll read it yeah. again. OK, thank you. Lovely, Robert. Thank you ever so much. Thank it you. It was nice to talk to you, Robert. Nice to talk to you too. All right, then. You take care and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. See you on Sunday. Bye. Bye. Bye.